Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And happy Father's Day to those that celebrate and on this day. So this is an interesting video for me as it came up this morning in my news feed as many people are having trauma related to their fathers. So first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Judy K. Martini, and I'm your awakening coach for The Great Awakening transformational coach and I help you through your traumas. I help you heal your traumas. I help you transcend your traumas and I help you remember why you're here on this planet and I help you connect to a higher power so that you're empowered. So you have access to your purpose, your plan, your destiny here. And all of that ties in today with Father's Day. And I say probably most of us most of us have had some sort of drama and trauma around our childhood regarding our fathers. Yes, there's a select few that have not had trauma and drama, and that's great. And I know my story is long and complicated, and, and yours is probably traumatic. I understand. I've got clients whose stories would make your hair stand on ends of what they have endured through the raising from their father. So my message today, because I heal traumas, is no matter what your trauma is, no matter how dark and deep, it can be healed. And it can start today. And I'm gonna give you one simple way in which you can start to heal that trauma. But know that it's a process, because traumas run deep. Traumas run generational at times. Traumas run from when we were this high, you know, with our upbringing. And for me, I had um, a biological father that died when I was 11 months old. And I, from what I understand, my mom said I was the apple of his eye. She was working full time as a nurse and he looked after me 24 seven in those first 11 months till he suddenly died. I didn't have a father figure at all growing up. And then at eight years old, my mom married a man with a son, a little bit younger than me, and we attempted to have a family. Well, the trauma and the drama that came with that scarred me for many years until I learned to deal with my traumas, until I healed them and transcended them. There's a difference. Healing is just sort of, yeah, I forgive and I move on. Transcending is, I'm not triggered by it anymore. I not only have forgiven myself, the parties involved, I've transcended it. Big difference, because transcendent means there's no charge to it. There's no emotion to it. Yeah, that's a big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a big one, and that's what I help my clients do. So for me, when my mom married when I was eight years old, I was already this feisty little girl who knew things way ahead of her time. And for those that know me, know that I know things that I can't even explain why I know them. <laughs> and I knew, I knew things and I would speak out and I would act out in a way that made me feel empowered. Well, back then, so I'm talking, what am I, 63, so 50 some years ago, 55 years ago, you didn't do that as a kid. Oh, no. Kids knew nothing. You had to obey or be punished. So I was being punished for the first time in my life. I was not given the freedom to be me. And, of course, my here's the thing. You know, my dad did the best he could. You know, I, I have compassion for him when I walked into his life. Like, I can, I can see walking into his life and he's like, holy shit, who is this little girl who seems to know things, who stands up for herself, who won't put up with any shit? Who is she, you know? And his job was to train me as a dad. That's what you're taught back then, is train these children to behave, train them to be good citizens. So he did the very best he could with what information he had. God, I know this, I've raised five kids on my own. And so I started raising my kids according to how I was raised because that's all I knew. There was no internet, there was no Dr. Phil. We had Dr. Spock book, but pff, 
I didn't read that. Lived in a small town, didn't know where to get that. So I did the best I could raising five kids on my own. And each time I would learn something, I would change and I would adapt. But fathers of my generation don't know how to do that. They are not equipped to handle that type of change. So what happened over the years was not only did I learn to hate him because there's a whole other story there between him and my mother. And don't forget, it was just my mom and I for eight years after my dad died. So I learned to hate him and disrespect him. But there came a moment of an awakening for me, a huge awakening. And this, I, I hope, happens to each and every one of you that have to heal your traumas and then transcend them. There was awakening in me that just sort of opened up every possibility and every thought and every imaginative thing that I preconceived as wrong about my dad. And I flipped it. I switched it. I remember going to my dad and my mother back then, um, let's say 30 years ago, and actually apologizing to them for holding them accountable for any preconceived notion of how I thought they should have raised me. I want to make note here. I'm not talking about if your parents' father has abused you in any way, psychologically, emotionally, physically. There's a difference. You know, there's accountability levels, right? Of, of accountability and justice in that. You know, if your father has traumatically abused you, sexually abused you, there's ways and means to deal with that, with justice, and then you can start to release and heal. In the meantime, as you're going through the justice program, if you need to do that. So I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the ordinary, every, everyday sort of abuse where I got hit if I did something that wasn't right. I didn't get beaten to the point where I couldn't walk. Although there was one time I couldn't walk for a few days. <laughs> I had struggled walking for a few, few days. But you come to a point, or I came to a point, of understanding what was going on. And then there came the word acceptance. Mm -hmm. I accepted him for who he was because he did the best he could with what he knew within his heart and what he had been taught to believe. I would love to encourage each and every one of you, if you have any unhealed traumas with your dad today, to have some compassion and empathy for how they were raised. Because that generation was raised in a whole different way than how we are raising our children or even how children were raised 15, 20 years ago compared to 60 years ago. Totally different. Compassion into empathy, into understanding, into acceptance. So first it comes compassion and empathy. And yes, forgiveness is all included in there as well. Then comes understanding. They only did what they knew how to do because that's what they were trained and taught to do. And then comes acceptance. And that, my friends, is all about love, is all about part of the Great Awakening, is all about transcending to a higher level of vibration and frequency, of putting in check your integrity, your understanding, taking you off the high horse of egocentric, I know better, they are wrong. Mm, whole other video on that. Puts you in a place of total compassion. You know, my dad, I think, is about 85-ish. I always forget people's birthdays, um, they, like their actual date dates. And he doesn't have much longer here. So I'm going to honor him today. I'm going to respect him today. I'm going to give him attention. I'm going to value him. I'm going to let him know he's loved. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to travel over, well, about th four hours today in total there and back to do that for him because I respect him because I understand what he did and why he did what he needed to do because that's what he knew yes I have forgave him compassion and empathy understand acceptance and then comes pure love I encourage each and every one of you today to look within your hearts into a deeper place than ever before when you go visit your dad, your parents, your stepdad, your surrogate dad, your pretend dad, whether your dad is your mom. I mean, my kids have celebrated me on Father's Day. A few of my kids have celebrated me on Father's Day for years because I was a single parent raising five kids. So 
So I was their mom and dad. That's, that was quite something when they do that. That's quite unique. So thank you guys for at least watching this video. And if it has been of value to you, please share it to those who can receive value and some understanding and some guidance and support from this video. Like, comment, share it, please. And if you're watching on Instagram, you know, the link is up there if you need more support. And YouTube, please subscribe, ring that bell and check the information down there. And again, I'm going to encourage you to go to a deeper place in your heart today than you've ever gone before. You will feel so much better. You will start your healing process or continue your healing process, which then leads to the next level of transcendence. Blessings to each and every one of you today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on this important day in which we get to honor those who helped support us and raise us.